I want to work with the Republican leadership whenever I can. And I know it doesn't get a lot of play when we do, but look at what we've done together on economic development. We've all worked together on bringing record number of new jobs to our state. We worked together during the pandemic to get kids back into the classroom in person when we needed to. We worked together on a bipartisan clean energy bill that's going to get us to carbon neutral in 2050 in the private sector. We both worked on community college investments that we, we knew were important. So I want to work with them whenever I can. I hope that there's going to, a lot of, going to be a lot of negotiation and compromise regardless of the numbers. But you will still see me and I think you'll see both House and Senate Democrats fighting for voting rights, fighting for women's rights, fighting to stop business killing culture war legislation. I, I, I still think you'll see that dynamic and I hope that the Republican leadership understands that the reason we are the number one state in the country for business is because of our balance and the fact that we do have a good business regulatory environment. We do invest in education and we stop the culture war bills that have hurt a lot of states across the country and which hurt North Carolina badly a number of years ago. Would you rather be in an, an elected position going uh, forward after being governor or something where you would be in um, an administration, a cabinet position? I, I, like I do not know what is in store for me more than two years from now. I really don't. Uh, I'm going to do the best job that I can as governor. I'll see what, what doors open. I do like public service, but um, I'm going to enjoy these next two years and be as productive as I can.